Welcome to Makerspace Equipment Tutorials. My name is Utkarsh and in this video we will learn to use MarkForged Mark II 3D printer. With a build volume of 320 by 132 by 154 mm, this 3D printer is capable of printing with base materials like nylon and onyx along with continuous fiber reinforcement with carbon fiber, fiberglass, kevlar and high strength high temperature fiberglass. Just like any other 3D printer, operating this printer comprises of two parts, slicing a digital 3D model in slicer program and printing the model in 3D printer. Slicer is a program that converts digital 3D models into printing instructions for a 3D printer. A 3D model can be designed in a CAD software like AutoCAD, Rhino, Fusion 360 and SolidWorks. Once the model is made, export it into .stl file format. If you are learning to use a 3D printer, you can simply download ready-made 3D models from online platforms like Thingiverse, My Mini Factory or Finshape. Mark II is operated using Iger. It is a cloud-based slicing program used exclusively for Mark IV 3D printers. User login credentials are already saved in Makerspace computers. After login, Iger greets you with its design library. You can click on Import STL to upload your design. Once the file is uploaded, it is saved in library. You can move mouse to change viewing angles holding left click. Select and click area highlighted in blue to change the printing orientation. On the right panel are the print settings. Select base material. Our printer is equipped with onyx so we are selecting the same. Next is reinforcement. If you don't want reinforcement then select none. However, if you need to reinforce your print with carbon fiber composite then you can select it from the drop down menu. Make sure printer is equipped with the same material as selected in settings. Select Mark II in Printer Type. You can also change orientation of the object to specific angle if required. Highlighted ring represents plane in which object can be rotated. Move mouse to change angle or type it manually. Layer height. Layer height determines the thickness of each slice when converting your part to a series of printable layers. You cannot change this if you are using fiber reinforcement. Scale. Scale is used to increase or decrease part size. Values greater than 1 increases size while values less than 1 shrinks the part. Raise part. When this is enabled, your part will print on a bed of 20 layers tall support. Use this if the supports on the bottom of your part are too small to peel off. Expand thin feature. Select this if your part has extremely thin walls which you need to preserve. Brim. A brim is an anchor that holds your part to the print bed. Use a brim if your part has a few points of contact on the print bed or tends to rub during printing. Infill Patterns Infill patterns are the geometric shape repeated on the inside of a part to add strength. Select solid for maximum density. Fill Density Fill density is the true density of the part. Different fill patterns have different possible minimum and maximum densities. 37% is the default. Roof and Floor Layers Select how many layers of solid plastic are used on the top and the bottom of the part. Wall Layers Select how thick the walls of the pattern should be. More walls will make up your plastic part stronger, but will also reduce the area that fiber will be able to fit into. Now click on save. This will save print settings. On left panel you can see part details including weight, printing time and warnings in which recommended settings are shown. Click on internal view. This will show an internal view of the part. Reinforcement material is shown in yellow. You can also increase or decrease its layer height here. Click and drag arrows like this to edit. Now 
Now click on print. This represents actual printing bed of Mark II 3D printer. You can click on object and drag it to change position of the print on the bed. Turn on the switch located at the rear of the printer. Once printer is on, it will connect with internet via Wi-Fi. This will be indicated with green tick mark on Iger program. Print button is enabled only when the printer is on and connected to internet. Click on print again. It will open a pop-up window showing plastic volume, fiber volume as well as job duration of the print. Select print now. It will start generating print file which will be downloaded in the printer via cloud. Meanwhile you can prepare printing bed. Lift and pull out the bed gently. This is not a heated bed so for print adhesion, washable glue is applied on the bed. Now you can keep the bed back inside the printer with these extruded bolts aligned to Z axis slots. Once extruders are heated enough, print will start automatically. Real-time temperature and printing information is shown on screen as well as on Iger program. While printing, extruders may leave filament threads. This is residual filament which does not affect printed part and can be removed later easily. Once printing is finished, it will be shown on printer as well as Iger program. Once printing is finished, take the printing bed out of the printer and use scraper to remove the print gently. You are welcome to use this 3D printer in IIT Delhi Makerspace. For any doubt, you can take help from Makerspace staff present in the facility.